So Dan and I have decided to do our first overnight hike in a very long time and certainly our first overnight hike here in Australia. We're going to start up here and we're going to walk all the way down the southern section of the Grampians Peaks Trail and we're going to end up back down in Dunkeld. When we get to Dunkeld on the first morning we have to park the car in Dunkeld and we're going to catch the shuttle that picks us up at about 7.30 in the morning and will drop us off all the way up at the Griffin Trailhead. We're going to camp the first night at Jaji Jawara and then we're going to camp the second night in Mudajog, excuse me if that pronunciation is incorrect. From the Griffin Trailhead to our first campsite is 10.7 kilometres. From the two camps is 8.6, so a nice short day. And the last day is the biggest day of all, so from the last campsite down to Dunkeld will be about 16 point something kilometres, 35 to 40 kilometres in total. Even though the distances seem as if they're quite short and easy to trek, they're a grade four hike along the whole way. So that means that there will be a lot of climbs, a lot of steep hills and a lot of rocks to scramble over. It is 8 o'clock in the morning and we have arrived at the Griffin Trailhead to start our overnight hike. We had to leave home at 3 o'clock this morning hence no video of us getting in here but we organised transport to Griffin Trailhead through the Grampians Peaks Walking Company and it was a really lovely ride so thanks guys for the lift. First day hike is over and we made it into the first overnight campground. It's pretty good actually, got some nice platforms and a really nice shelter. I'll uh, take you for a tour in a minute. Yummy, delicious lunch, Nutella, peanut butter, gonna add a banana, some trail mix. Dan's busy making his. So we have set up our tent, we have picked a nice quiet platform away from the main entrance and we have set it up to face the back of the platform just for a bit of privacy. As you can see, the pretty good platforms, they've got these tie downs and there is the tent all set up and we were having a nice little snooze in the sunshine this afternoon because we had to leave at three o'clock this morning so i will take you for a quick walk around to go and see the place so there are 12 of these camping platforms dotted all around and there is a nice new set of stairs that lead up to the shelter and the shelter has some benches and a workbench. As you come up the stairs, you come up to the shelter with a rainwater tank. There's a tap and a little 
waiting for you to use and starting door to go inside. Inside, beautiful view. Some benches with that wonderful view. And another sliding door going out onto the other side. We are up. It's been a bit of a late morning. We have leisurely got up and packed everything up and we are now ready to hike day two to Mud Joie and it's about a eight kilometer hike but it's all uphill to start off with and then downhill to go back into the camp so it might be a bit of a twice well twice apparently it might be a bit of a tricky day so it's a bit warm today as well I don't know we'll see how we go so behind me is today's first challenge that is Signal Peak and that's the first one that we have to head up good luck to us both I don't know if you can see it, but in the distance, just over there, is our campsite from last night, where we've just walked from. We have made it to the top of the signal peak. It was a quick 3.5k, quite steep, not used to climb on those Just come down from Signal Peak and we're off to Mud the Jug campsite. So another 4.8 kilometers that way. Right, let's get cracking. Tents. There's the shelter down there in the water tank, but I guess it doesn't really matter how many people there are because look at that view. Good morning, we've woken up to a wet, drizzly day, cloud cover all over, and we have just finished packing up the tent. We're having some breakfast.
Um, I think you meant to go this way. Okay. We made it to the top of Mount Sturgeon. Please excuse the windy sound, but it's blowing a gale. Center and that's that.